Hello, everybody, and indeed, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the button. It's the Chicago Tony V Show. I'm Chicago Tony V. Welcome to everybody. We're at hump day, people. We're middle of the road. Let me start some music. Hump day, I tell you. We're back at it. I've noticed that uh, these weeks are cyclical, right? It turns out that hump day happens every... It comes back every week. <laughs> kind of maddening if you think about it. We're in this existential rinse and repeat cycle. And then I guess one day it ends. I wonder if after you die, do you miss the grind? I wonder what you do. I wonder if anything's going on. I hope not to find out very soon, but uh, time will tell. I suppose if I were a betting person, I don't know. I don't know if I'd bet. I, I don't know if I'd bet on on uh, my own horse. We'll see. Kind of getting up there. I ate too many cheese fries, too many Chicago dogs. I've not taken very good care of myself. Please, friends, don't let me forget to give my disclaimer. I always kind of have to say, because my my attorney makes me say it, everything I say uh, uh, allegedly and for entertainment purposes only. Okay, Sal, are you happy? There you go. There's Sal's little 10 seconds of the podcast, which reminds me, amazingly, the Chicago Tony V Show is a podcast now. If you don't, if you don't like waking up at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to partake, and maybe if you're not uh, anywhere near a computer, so you can't get onto Reddit, go find my account, you know, all that stuff. Go find me. Just get the podcast. It turns out that's how it works. Vincenzo, my dopey computer guy. First of all, he I don't know how he I don't know how this works, but he made it into a podcast. It's a podcast. The Chicago Tony V, like vegetable show podcast. He put it on my phone. Now I get to listen to it wherever I'm driving, which is usually nowhere. Because what are we gonna do? We're not allowed to have any fun. I did hit some golf balls the other day. That was kind of fun. Froze my butt off though. But yeah, it's a podcast. There's a YouTube channel, Chicago Tony V. And please, really, we had a mailbag the other day. People started sending in emails. I want you people to know this. This uh, this gives me endless joy, because as I've said in the past, I love doing this and I love talking to all you people. But there's no denying. At some point, let me fight my technology here. What the hell? There's no denying the reality. <laughs> There's no denying the reality that uh, I'm speaking into an inanimate object in an effort to connect to you beautiful kids of Reddit. And I've started to get some email messages. The email account is Chicago Tony V like victory at gmail.com. All I'm saying is if, if you want to make a, 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 a fat, over the hill, lonely, former Chicago mobster, allegedly, for entertainment purposes, happy, send me an email. I, I came in this morning. We got... I got two more two more uh, letters for the for the mailbag. I guess we got a mailbag today. Money, I don't know which money penny, but one of the money pennies put a couple more notes on my thing. I can't wait to see what they say. Mailbag is fun, isn't it? Let's try it. Let's keep it going. So, uh, news for the day. A, a weird thing happened. Uh, I, I, I actually, I was on my way into the office and, uh, I slept in by the way, I, I got up at 4 AM this morning, which for me lately, that's a total sleep in. So no excuses. If, if I lay an egg today, no excuses because I'm, I'm fully rested 
Anyway, I'm driving in, and it's like, holy crap, my thumb is killing me. Killing me. Killing me. And so I, I, I uh, try, you know, tried to move around. Couldn't bend my thumb. It's like, what the hell? What is going on? Did I, you know, play 36 holes of golf yesterday and forget that I did it? Which sadly is very possible with the state of my brain these days. That's to I could totally see that happening. But I racked my brain. I really thought about it. I took a, mo a moment. I really thought about it. It's like, no, no. As I said, I hit golf balls, but that was like 10 days ago. It finally, I, I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> why can't I bend my thumb? And why does it feel like uh, someone is, you know, filleting it into fish fillets? And then it finally hit me. I was, I've been playing a lot of piano. That's what it is. I played piano yesterday. I'm on a clip these days. I will step up to an instrument uh, at a, about once every, let's say five years, <laughs> I'll sit down to an instrument. Normally it's because someone in, in my family has asked me, I'm in this, uh, speaking of rinse and repeat, I'm in this uh, cycle of, I get asked to play at weddings of my uh you know, usually it's my beautiful nieces, etc., across the family, and I'm totally happy to do it. But what happens is, I can't even remember who was the first one years ago. But what happens is, I'll play at a wedding, and I play and sing. I studied a little opera, believe it or not, in college. I, I mean a little. But uh, I'll play at a wedding, and there will be there will be a little girl sitting in the audience at that wedding. And she will determine, by God, at my wedding, Uncle Tony's gonna play at my wedding. I must have this. So uh, so I get these really nice notes. And it happens, like I said, every you know three or four or five years. Uncle Tony or Mr. V, whatever. I saw you at so-and-so's wedding, and I, will you please play in my wedding? Thank you, 99. I like, I like that name. Speaking of nieces and nephews, I have a niece who I remember when she was a little dinky do. She, instead of saying thank you, she would say thank you. Thank you. Uh, anyway, you say, I like your fashion sense. Without sounding sarcastic, it's very middle-aged man cool. I honestly like it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's going to mess with me now all day. Thank you, honestly. And I'll tell you, the best part about that comment is, is fitting what I wouldn't give to be considered middle-aged. What I wouldn't give. So that's a huge compliment. I'll take it. You know... I'm well on the back nine. I'm well on the back nine. I am well past in the, if you look at the scope of my life, let's face it, I'm well past hump day, right? I'm probably into Saturday really is probably what I'm into. So uh, I will I will take your very nice compliment and that will boost me up today. Middle age, what I wouldn't give. Boy, if I took this hat off, you'd take that back. I swear. God's Death Note. Holy cow, I might have a favorite Reddit name. A new favorite. God's Death Note says, rabbit hole as in red pills, blue pills, matrix type stuff. Uh, so you're referring to how I titled this uh, this stream, which now let's test the brain. Let's. I think it was uh, something about down the Reddit uh, rabbit hole. Yeah, I wanted to tell a little story about Reddit today. I've, I've told uh, on previous shows, I've kind of alluded to. So from a technology standpoint, Reddit is like my whole life, okay? I'm not a technical guy 
at all. I got what you're seeing is the result of happenstance. And I'm surrounded in a way by young people. Vincenzo is my computer guy and other people in kind of my little circle um, (laughs) encourage me to do this. And Vincenzo does all the technology uh, when I can get him to return my calls, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, as part of this, I had to learn Reddit. That's kind of like the only IT that I do, really, like that I can just totally do my own. Like I, you know, I start these up by myself this morning. And so Reddit, so I'm different probably than what I understand most people. Most people, like the whole internet is a rabbit hole. Well, to me, in my brain, Reddit is the internet. (laughs) The rest of it, I don't really understand. So uh, I was kicking around Reddit and uh, I can't even remember how, but it's amazing to me how vast just Reddit is. It's like, I don't know how many, does anyone know how many people are on Reddit? Uh, it, it's just unbelievable. Mike420B says, I heard you are a rat. <laughs> Maybe. I get, well, but I defy you. I've never named a name on this show of some, uh, to my knowledge, and I'm determined, I am never going to name certainly not people that I know are still living. I'm going to try, if I, as I, as I tell maybe some of my old stories, I have a few s- stories to tell. I'm going to try to use only nicknames. I'm, I'm going to, because I don't want to upset any families, any contacts that are allegedly for entertainment purposes still in the scene. Uh, do you know Barstool Chicago? Eddie should interview you. I have no idea who that is, but if if I could sit on a bar stool, I would love to be interviewed. It's funny you mention that, actually, because honestly, I kind of want to ask the, you know, you kids, you kids on the stream here, right? I like bouncing ideas. And thank you. All the feedback helps, trust me. But it was mentioned to me recently, it's like you should have people interview you and it's like yeah why not i'd be up for that as long as vincenzo can i assume i have the technology to do that i don't know but uh no bar stool but oh my god if i could sit on a bar stool and drink a beer or if i could drink a beer here in my lair my uh, chicago tony v lair and talk to some of Barstool Chicago. I love the name already. God's Death Note says, I am a king of rats, Mike. They call me Charlie. I sniff glue and eat cat food. (laughs) Getting a little nutty already. Um, So, anyway. One of the money pennies just texted me. What I've learned in life is I don't, I so rely on the money pennies. It's like when I get it, when I get a communique, I don't care what I'm doing it, what I'm doing at the time. I get right back on it. I can't do without these ladies, ladies of my life. So yeah, the vastness of Reddit. Rabbit hole. I went down, I went down an internet rabbit hole. Like, uh, I found a, what do they call it, a subreddit, right? That's what all the Reddit groups are, right, is just subreddits. Is RPAN a subreddit? I don't even know. Anyway, I found a directory. I decided, all right, what that, I want to, I want to know what, what's the scope of this thing? What's the lay of the land? I need a, I need a roadmap for Reddit. And I found a directory 
basically that listed all the subreddits. And <laughs> now what is it called? How did I find it? I can't remember. I didn't write it down, which means there's, I can't share it with you nice people. But I wrote down some of the subreddits that actually exist. Why? Why would some of these things exist? It's beyond me. Here's a subreddit that exists. It's huge. It's called Cats Standing Up. It's a subreddit of people. All they do is they post pictures of cats standing up. Unbelievable. This is like, it's like a few hundred thousand people. And I look at this stuff. So what I do is I look at this thread and I and what my brain does is it, is it says, look at all the time these people have spent on this thing. <laughs> I realize the irony. I, this, I'm a guy who streams on subreddit or on, uh, on uh, RPAN every morning, Monday through Friday for some unknown reason. Let's see what else is going on in the, in the thread. Mike420B says, eat pasta. Yeah, baby. I had some pasta yesterday. Uh, NAFX002, are you retired? Yes, I am. I, I retired, uh, I think you would say young. I had to, uh, I, I made a lot of money in the Chicago area in a nefarious past. Um, allegedly for entertainment purposes and uh, but it that that lifestyle kind of caught up with me I had to flee the Chicago area about 20 years ago and uh, the rest is history I've tried to put I get a, there I have an FAQ section on YouTube I've tried to answer a lot of common questions up there I'm gonna have Vincenzo keep putting stuff up there I put a video I, I I made a separate video, and Vincenzo, Vinny did a great job. I, I watched it uh, this morning. On the Columbo episode I talked about yesterday, um, I wanted people to hear that message. You know, it's not all bad. Go watch an old Columbo episode. It's going to make your day. Dazzle V, good to see you again. He, she says, my dude. You using a magnifying glass to read from the table. Did it show? Check this shit out. <laughs> how old am I? It's so embarrassing. It's getting this bad. This is how bad it is. What happened is I pull I found these. I've been digging through storage. And I found these old sunglasses. Lord knows where I was on the planet when I bought these monstrosities. But let's just say my eyes worked a lot differently back then. And anyone who's been watching this show regularly knows what total horse shit my eyeballs are. So, yeah, I finally, I, I, I dug out a freaking magnifying glass. How embarrassing is that? Again, this really buttresses my argument that I'm well on the back nine. Okay, it's going to be lights out pretty soon. You know, my ears don't work. My eyes don't work. Uh, thank you, God's death note. I'm cool as a cucumber. Thank you. El Saltamontes. Good morning, Captain. Good morning to you. Goblin George is back. There was an insane clown posse category on Jeopardy last night, and I thought of you. <laughs> These guys are really causing me a lot of stress, actually, to be honest. I really, I really regret posting that goddamn video. That insane clown, clown posse video. It was a wind up for Vincenzo. That's mostly what it is. But these, uh, these insane clown posse kids. Did not take it well, which I totally understand. I got to do an apology video. I feel bad. But in the meantime, I'm pretty sure the uh, troll we had yesterday, the very enjoyable troll, I think was, was a, what do you call him, a juggalo? Probably. 
They're down voting me on YouTube. It's a mess. I'm getting hate mail in the Chicago Tony V email account, which is Chicago Tony V like Victor at uh, gmail.com. That's what it is. El Salt likes the new glasses, huh? Very good. Dazzle V, that's how I know you're legit. Only ex mob guys use magnifying glasses to read. <laughs> How did you guys know I was using one? Did it show on the screen eventually? Is that how it works? It's so freaking embarrassing. Neil D99 says, hello from Newark, New Jersey. Hello back. Uh, Gabagool. Uh, isn't that a great word from a great show? What are some other subreddits, right? The vastness of Reddit. It's amazing to me. The vastness of Reddit. So we got cats standing up, which as stated, right? I'm looking at this thing. Now I'm not a cat person. There's another apology video I had to make. If you get on my YouTube, I had to apologize to a listener who I haven't seen since. Viewer, what are you guys? Viewers, listeners? I don't know. Anyway, see, because I'm not a cat person, I'm a dog person. I have a gigantic brown dog named Dolly. I don't understand cat people, so I don't, I can't put myself in their shoes. And I misfire and I say mean things all the time. So I'm sure this subreddit is very meaningful for these cat people. I'm sure. But I don't get it. Another one. Let's see what this is. This is about construct constructed languages. Have any of you guys ever heard of the term constructed language? Dunkin' Donuts. Uh... The 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 short the shorthand for this is con lang, I believe. C O N L A N G. So there's this whole universe of people that like making up their own languages. Which frankly, as a supposed for entertainment purposes former mob guy, you know, I could see how that could actually come in handy a little bit here and there. But uh, but to do it willy nilly on the internet, I just find that fascinating. So like so that's a whole thing. Con Lang constructed languages, and there's <laughs> so there's there's a subreddit called Tokipona, T O K I P O N A, and this is a constructed language that the uber nerds of Reddit with lots of time on their hands, these people are probably super smart, probably so much smarter than I am, but they've created this Tokipona language. There's several, there's several of these made up languages. What is so hilarious is you go to the subreddit and it's all written in the, in the language. Now, how would someone, how would someone immerse themselves? How do you learn the language if you go to the subreddit and it's already in the, in the made up foreign language? <laughs> I tried to look around. It was instantly confusing as hell. I don't get it. I don't know. Uh, thank you, Dazzle. Don't be embarrassed, man. I think it's cool as fuck. I hope you're talking about the uh, magnifying glass. You guys, there are really a lot of nice people that watch this show for some reason. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, seriously, thank you. Um, Neil D99, yeah, go to my FAQ, dude, on YouTube that some and watch some of the older streams. Listen to the podcast. Subscribe to the podcast, my friend. Chicago, the Chicago Tony V show. You can let it, it's come out through a lot of the old shows, all of this alleged for entertainment purposes uh, background. God's Death Note says, hate, hate mail comes with the territory, Tony. The mob has your back. Tr thank you for the sentiment, but trust me, the mob does not have my back anymore. Um, 
But yes, I am finding that uh, there is an element of hatred that that uh, that shine that comes through. I guess it's part of the you know people are different. That's that's life, I suppose. But I this has been helpful for me though because it does make me look at myself. You know, when I watch my insane clown posse video, there's part of me, the sense of humor part of me, says, "That's pretty funny." There's some pretty funny lines, but uh, but let's face it, it's kind of mean, right? I'm not thinking about these. First of all, I didn't understand. Why, why do I talk so much about insane clown posse? This is so dumb. Thank you, Money Spot. You like the way I dress. Thank you. I didn't know, by the way, that so I've got I've got a brown sport coat, brown hat. I didn't know if this was gonna go. If it was gonna clash. I don't know if it's too much brown. I don't know. It kind of seems to me like it's working. I got uh I got another Dobbs of New York hat laying around here. I wore it on a stream last week. And it's like it made me look like a bad dude. <laughs> it's like navy, dark, and I think I've seen too many old lo uh, uh, Lone Ranger shows. It made me look like a bad guy. Is that Pavarotti in the background? Oh, you mean uh, uh, the music? It, it could very well be. Pavarotti is one of my all-time favorites. My Italian grandfather... And my Italian great aunts, they all had loads of Pavarotti records. It's hilarious. Pavarotti, and it's funny, it's so cool really to see how, uh, to see how, what would the term be? Um, they supportive of just the Italian culture. If you're Italian, that's half the way there, right? So who's the, who was the greatest? race car driver of all time, Mario Andretti, right? That's it, Mario Andretti. So one of these days I'm gonna tell the story about my uh, great aunt Louise saying a prayer before uh, Mario Andretti's Indy 500 win. Uh, let's see, our dad jokes. I gotta check that one out. That sounds interesting. Uh oh! Someone gave me a wholesome seal of approval. Thank you. I never thought I would really uh, be considered wholesome, but um, I like that. So God's death note brings up a really interesting point, and I'm actually going to riff on this for a second. He says a cigar and some red wine is missing. I was flipping through. What the hell was it? I can't remember, but, but maybe it was Reddit. Probably. I mean, what else do I do? But I think it was Reddit, now that I think about it. And there was an old Ozzy Osbourne picture. He was, he was dressed in a, uh, like a, he looked like a housewife from the 50s. You know how they wore those like frilly aprons and they had their, he had his hair up in curlers or something. He's ironing, and underneath the iron is a baby, <laughs> a bambino. And it was a PR photograph. And really, I think if you look back on Ozzy Osbourne, what made his career is that story of the bat head. He bit the head off a bat. Now, I don't know if, I don't know if he really did it or not, but holy crap. Everyone, growing up, everyone knew that story, right? Everyone, all the kids knew that story about Ozzy Osbourne. Who, who the hell is this dude? And uh, so I think, and from what I understand, his wife, Sharon, is uh, prob the brains behind the Ozzy Osbourne brand. She's probably a very savvy brand person. But I saw this picture and I just thought, you know, what would what would Chicago Tony V uh, 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 PR uh, photos look like? I think it would be fun to, I don't know, I might hire a photographer. But yes, cigar, 
is definitely one of the things I thought of. Um, yeah, kind of interesting. Neil D99 is Indian from Newark. Uh, oh, you have found family values to be pretty similar in Italian and Indian households. That's really interesting. That's kind of cool to hear. The, uh, you know, one of the riddles, one of the conundrums about the Italian culture, let's call it the underworld part of it. Still a lot of lovely, lovely people. It's a weird thing. As sometimes I just think part of humanity is, is crime, <laughs> unfortunately. But I think I can look back on uh, some people from my alleged past for entertainment purposes and say, you know what? Those are re actually really pretty nice people. Um, in, uh, Italians have a kind of patriotism that isn't so much about the nation, but more pride about Italian people. I appreciate that. I totally agree. I totally agree. And I think it's really positive. Uh, and it's something to rally around. It's kind of funny, like Italians are, in one way, if you really think about it, we're like, we're similar to just straight up Americans, like in that, I think Americans are, are uh, proud of their culture and, and whatever. But I think a difference is Italians aren't so, they aren't so really in your face about it somehow. It's a nuance that I'm not really prepared to talk about apparently. But uh, yeah, there's something about the Italian culture that uh, I do find very endearing. A lot of really nice people. Wait, is Nicky Lauda Italian too? I thought, uh, isn't he German? Nicky Lauda? That's the guy that got burned up in Formula One, right? Am I thinking of the right guy? Total badass, that guy, by the way. Um, he thought the bat was fake, huh? Ozzy Osbourne did? He thought it was fake until he bit it? Who would give that dude a real bat? <laughs> What's the backstory on that? Uh, Enrico Caruso, yes, yes. Italian opera is beautiful. Neil D99 says, I've noticed y'all are are close to your extended families too. Indian people still live with extended families. Imagine sitting at the dinner table with your grandparents, parents, uncles, aunts, and cousins. Yes. And you know what? I'm going to sip some coffee and then I'm going to wax po poetic about that for a second. Absolutely right. When I look at my Italian lineage, and really even for that matter, there, there are other uh, cultures, cultural flavors in my background as I sort of navigate the extended family. A lot of Irish back there somewhere. And really all the cultures, but certainly the Italians, yes, really stuck together tremendously. And what kind of saddens me a little bit is that I think with how society is structured today, it's that's just kind of waning. It was so very common back in the day. I mean, when I think of my, my grandpa, my Italian grandpa, he had a sister and a brother that, that lit his entire life once they were adults, his entire life, they still lived like 10 minutes away. And of course, his his uh, dad was uh, 10 minutes away. His, my grandpa's mother, so my great grandmother actually died in the uh, influenza, the Spanish flu deal. So, um, so let's see. So the bat was flying around, huh? Ozzy's bat was flying around, died and landed on the stage. He thought it was a fake thrown into the stage by a fan. Holy shit. 
What are the chances? Here's another subreddit that kind of blows my mind. There's a subreddit called Life of Norman. Now get what this one's about. This one's about, it's all about how to control the life of a fictitious character named Norman Tebut, T Butt, I don't know, I don't even know. I went into this subreddit and dug around and it's like <laughs> all these people are creating posts essentially about, about about you know needling with this guy's life and the dude doesn't exist. <laughs> What the hell is going on? This is fascinating to me. What is this all about? It is fascinating. There are subreddits too that are completely, uh, all the comments are, what do they call it? Bots, right? Robots, machine language, which sometimes when I heard that that shit exists, it really started to make me think, oh my God, what if all you guys are bots? What if I'm talking to nothing but a computer? That would freak me out. I, I seriously might off myself. I hope technology isn't quite that good, but yeah, an entire subreddit. It's, it's all bots. How does that even work? I got a new follower, Larry Jr. Dash K. Thank you for the follow. That's very exciting. I love getting followers. I, uh, I love connecting. You know, we talked about yesterday, Chicago Tony V uh, Vegas trip and the Chicago Tony V um, cruise, right? Someone needs to get on that. We need someone that uh, that can coordinate that. Money Spot 686 says Italian fashion is top notch. Absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. Yes. All my extended Italian family dressed beautifully to the nines. Everyone has a tailor. Everyone has an Italian tailor. Larry Jr., thanks again for the follow. So he says there's a Reddit rabbit hole. I think all of Reddit is a rabbit hole. It's, uh, oh, Larry's a bot. Okay, shit. If a bot followed me. Neil D99 says, back in the day, the dad and uncles would run the family business and all the women were to take care of the house and stuff. Yeah. That is the way it, it went. And, you know, to be honest, I mean, in my family, my extended family, especially the older you get, I mean, they wanted boys. <laughs> and the firstborn was a real thing. I mean, that was a real deal. I mean, I have an older brother, and it's like, that kid was the king. It was like the Lion King, right? The Italian family <laughs> raised up my older brother when he was a bambino. And it's like, yes, we have a boy to pass the baton to. That's a real thing. And honestly, interacting with my, uh, with my grandparents and stuff, I was definitely a second class citizen. I think they let me know. It's like, yeah, if your brother ever, you know, shits the bed, all right, you're next in line. It's it's going to be all good. But until then, you know, it's kind of fascinating. Here's another subreddit. Figure this one out. Six minutes left. Subreddit called Carpets for Airports. This is just people. I believe what it said is like they're a little bit too interested in airport carpet design. These people. <laughs> So they get on Reddit. Yeah, I was in the, uh, you know, I was in the Philly airport. I was in the lounge. Check out this carpeting they have there. <laughs> Why would people do that? I don't get it. There's this affliction. I believe it's called Asperger's. Asperger's? I don't know. That sounds horrible. Asperger's. But uh, I've, I've I had some contacts who, who apparently... Like, I can think of a guy who I was told had Asperger's, whatever it's called. And all this did, uh, all this dude did was 
track trains. He was fascinated. He, I, I could be like, hey, Paul, I'm going to Boulder, Colorado. Oh, you're going to take the Amtrak thus and so line, and then you're, you're going to pick up this other one in St. Louis, and then you're, the kid, the dude knew all the trains. And then the other thing he was fascinated with was where people are buried. For some reason, he tracked all of his family members. And it wasn't so much, oh, tell me, you know, what did Uncle Chuck do for a living? What did my great grand It was simply, I want to know where their gravestones are. That's it. That's all he wanted to know. Asperger's. Weird. Why would nature do that? Why would nature give an affliction? Uh, oh, God. God's death notice is talking about the inauguration. Holy shit. Larry Jr. K. I'm old school. My wife runs our shit. Larry just brings home the bacon. Mama keeps us together happy and healthy. Yeah, you know, teamwork, right? It's all about teamwork. You got to be a team. This is fascinating. So we have an Indian viewer today. That's really exciting. Um, I wanted to uh, ask you guys. I ha I hate to I hate to even bring this up again. I'm I swear I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna do an apology video to these clown kids, and then I'm gonna never talk about them again. And I'm eternally sorry. But I did I I was kind of interested. So this, their, their fans, right, have a nickname, Juggalos. And it just got me thinking, the three fans of Chicago Tony B, what would we, what do we call you guys? I'm curious to hear any thoughts. I hope that you could keep it nice. Keep it nice and genteel. You can take a dig at me, but, um, yeah. So Indian families wanted boys too, huh? He said, uh, Neil says, even conservative Indian families wanted boys because then who's going to run the family name? Plus, if you need to get a daughter married, there's huge sums of dowry. So check me if I'm wrong. A dowry, does that mean you pay? Do you pay someone to marry your daughter? Or do you get paid by the dude that's marrying your daughter. How does this work? It's fascinating to me. It reminds me years ago, I knew someone from, I wanna say uh, Pakistan maybe, but uh, what I remember about her is it was an arranged marriage. Now I never met her husband, but I, that floored me. Holy shit, an arranged marriage? How are you feeling about that? How did that work out? And uh, she's like, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Totally works out. Apparently, these arranged marriages are as successful as normal marriages where you have two consenting people that fall in love, etc., etc. It's a total crapshoot. That's kind of scary. But uh, anyway, Tony's pepperonis. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right, Neil. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. Ooh, the crinkle fries, Goblin George. That's a good one. Long time listener. Ha <laughs> ha So Neil says like the bride's family needs to gift stuff to the groom's family, like jewelry or a car or something. Wow. I guess in in American culture, I mean, it's normally the the bride's family that pays for the wedding, typically. A divorce rate in India is really, really low, says Neil. Yeah, you know, there's a lesson in there somewhere. I would love to go to India sometime. That That's on my bucket list. Although, I don't know if they're going to allow us to travel anymore. Is that still going to be a thing? Are they ever going to let us have fun again? This is fun. Which I hope they don't find out that I have fun doing this because then maybe they'll make me stop doing this too. Just make me go get a 
COVID test every day. Anyway, thank you for joining in. Oh, I, I'm going to start taking phone calls, people. It's going to happen. And we'll see what that means and how that works. But I'm lonely. I'm sick of talking just to a camera. I want to open it up. Everyone have a good day. Don't take any shit from anybody.